Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about replacing window screens. It's an easy DIY project that you can do in about an hour for a first timer and shorter every time you do it after that. A um, couple of things that you're going to need. You're going to need um, a flathead screwdriver, scissors, a utility knife, a spline rolling tool like this one. It's a roller knife or blade, whatever, 10 bucks and some screen and maybe some spline because the spline on the old screen might be brittle. You might need to replace it. Hey, if you can reuse it, go for it. Let's talk quickly about screens. There's basically three types of screen. The most popular is fiberglass. It's flexible, it's cheap. People love to use it because it's easy to install. And if you make a mistake, you can pull the spline out, reposition and redo it. it doesn't, doesn't have like a memory. Aluminum screen has a memory. You got one chance at it when you create a groove into the screen, it's done. So you gotta get it right the first time. I like aluminum because it's sturdier and stronger. Um, then there's pet screen or sun shading screen, which has kind of a thicker grid, less light comes in, but it also helps with air conditioning bills, keeps the house a little cooler. Uh, it reduces fading in fabrics and carpets and stuff like that. It's great for storm doors where kids are pushing on screens and especially for pets. And that's how they market it. They market it as pet screen for the claws and the paws. So think about that. If you've got a door or a window that dogs are always damaging, you might want to try the pet screen material. Let's talk a little bit about the how to do it. There's five steps basically. Remove the screen from the frame and place it on a workbench with the grooves facing up so you can see this rubber spline material. And then basically use your flathead screwdriver to start in one corner and pry up your spline on all four sides of the frame to remove the screen. Step two is to align your new screen over those grooves. You can use scissors to cut it in, you know, a little smaller so it's manageable. Leave it an inch big on each, all four sides so you have room. Or you can just overlap it and lay it over it and, and, and go for it that way. We're going to trim it later anyway. It doesn't matter. Step three, you want to start in one corner of those four grooves on the frame and you want to push the screen into the channel with the convex wheel on your screen roller. That's the pointy one. And you basically just want to roll it from one corner to the next corner, just one corner at a time. We're going to do this one step at a time. You don't want to overdo it and jam it in. Step number four is you take your spline material before you go to the other three sides and you insert that spline. And you're going to use your convex portion, I'm sorry, your yeah, concave portion, which is the, the um, groove portion, and you're going to roll the spline in from one corner to the next, which locks that screen in place and you basically push the screen and make sure it can't move. Um, you're going to repeat this, these two steps, the groove in the screen and then inserting your spline on all four corners. And you want to make sure that you hold the screen as you go to keep it taut. You might even want to use clamps or a weight to kind of hold the screen down if you think you need to. With aluminum, you don't need to do it as much. With fiberglass, sometimes you still you do have to. And then step five is you want to uh, use a screwdriver to push down the four corners where the spline might be a little bit sticking up and then take a utility knife and just trim all four sides close to the spline, as close as you can without cutting the spline. Look, if a professional was gonna do this repair for you, they charge about $75 plus $15 in materials. As a DIYer, you can do it for $10 a window, a window screen. It's easy. You do need one of these tools and you'll need some materials. But once you have the tool, it's, it's 10 bucks a window and, and you can do it yourself fast. I'm Rob Robillard. Please, cons please consider subscribing to this video channel. We'll see you next time. Take care.